we've managed to exist for already 140, almost 142 years. What would stop us? What could change that we will not be there in 50 years? I don't know. Audemars Piguet was founded in 1875 when uh, Jules Louis Audemars and Edouard Auguste Piguet actually started to work together and to create Audemars Piguet. Now the brand has remained in the hands of the founding families for the last 141 years and hopefully we're going to keep doing that for the next 141 more years. And so since 1875, one of the main goals has been to remain independent, to be in charge of our own destiny to make sure that the brand will always have its own choice of life and what we could do. There was never a, a notion of standing or sleeping on our laurels, but much more say, what could we do better? And this has been in the DNA of the company for around 41 years, meaning that there is never, never a moment where we say we are good enough. So it's always the quest and the search for the next unbelievable either mechanism or design. So the company most iconic watch, obviously, and I think now everybody knows it's the Royal Oak. The Royal Oak was a real breakthrough in 1972. You have to remember that at that time, the watches that were selling were either round, oval, square, in precious metal, and all on strap. So when it came up with that stainless steel integrated bracelet at the price of the gold watch, I mean, a lot of people were scared. It was a major risk when we did it. Now, 44 uh, years later, the, the watch is stronger than ever. It's recognized as one of the most iconic designs in the watch history. And we look at it at being 44 years young and not 44 years old. Up to 15 years ago, most of the dials, or all the dials, were done by dial makers. And at one point in the history of Audemars Piguet, someone had the idea to do that in-house. We have the workshop where we have engine turning machines producing most of what equips all our watches with petite or grand tapisserie today. And the skills involved in making serial engine turn dials is something you will have a hard time finding at another place than here. Choices are the most important thing for the years to come. The industry is changing at a pace which is faster than ever. We have not seen the end of it yet. New technologies are coming, new of selling are coming. A lot of people don't even go to stores anymore. So what's that gonna leave us for the decades to come? If we cannot adapt ourselves to the new market, to the younger generation, well, you might not go to a store because you're gonna use other possibilities actually to communicate with us. So that's our challenge for the years to come.